New Zealand's largest city has declared a state of emergency after torrential rain prompted widespread flooding and evacuations. The downpour in Auckland on Friday shifted houses, stalled traffic and cut power to homes and businesses. The New Zealand Herald reported that a body had been found in Warao Valley on Auckland's North Shore, an Elton John concert, expected to be attended by 40,000 fans, was cancelled minutes before it was due to start. Footage online showed people trapped in. Waist-deep floodwater and rescuers carrying out evacuations on kayaks. Other pictures showed grocery items floating down the aisles of several flooded supermarkets. Oh, Infrastructure shit. and emergency services Wait, alike have been overwhelmed by the impacts oh, of the storm, said Auckland Mayor oh, Wayne Brown. Oh my gosh. Shivers, me timbers. That's it, isn't it? We're stuck. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, no one else is getting through right now, guys. Local media reported that fire crews have fielded over 1,000 calls for assistance. The New Zealand Defence Force is also helping with evacuations, flights into Auckland, as well as rail and ferry services within the city, have been delayed or cancelled due to the weather. Major roads were also blocked off by the floods, causing long traffic queues on highways, with several traffic accidents reported. Auckland Emergency Management said on Twitter at 6 p.m. local time, 6 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time, that severe weather was affecting the region, with several areas affected by significant flooding. Two hours later, the National Weather Authority estimated that 15 centimeters of rain had fallen in the previous 11 hours. The record for a 24-hour period stands at 16.2 centimetres. The authority has forecast heavy rains in various parts of Auckland for at least the next five days. A state of emergency has been declared in New Zealand's biggest city Auckland after torrential oh, rain shit. caused widespread flooding and brought chaos to the city. Unbelievable. Hi. Residents in the worst affected areas have been asked to evacuate amid a deluge that has blocked motorways, flooded roads and neighborhoods, forced the closure of city's airport and huge disruption to flights, and prompted organizers to cancel a scheduled concert by Elton John, leaving many concertgoers stranded. There is no end in sight yet for the city of 1.5 million, with heavy rain forecast to continue overnight. Police said on Friday night that a body had been found on the city's north shore. After the body was seen by a member of the public, but did not confirm whether the person had died as a result of flooding. Mayor Wayne Brown said in an evening press conference that he had received reports that someone has lost their life during this event. This is going to be a horrible night for thousands of Aucklanders and their families, he said, shortly after declaring a state of emergency. My thoughts are with those Aucklanders affected, including many of those who have been evacuated from their homes and have a hard night ahead. Shaking some fucking freezing. Oh yeah, look, it's uh, basically, that's my knees on the deck, but if I was to go down, which I won't down there, that's obviously another big drop there. The Prime Minister Chris Hipkins said on Friday evening that all relevant government agencies are working flat out to help in an extraordinary set of circumstances, the emergency response is underway and the government is ready to assist as needed, he said, the National Civil Defence Minister, Kieran McAnulty, said on Friday night that the mayor of the city had declared a state of emergency, and urged people to follow advice from the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA.
emergency services were overwhelmed by calls on Friday night, police said in a statement, asking Aucklanders to please only call 111 if you are in a life-threatening emergency. Videos on social media showed firefighters, police and defense force staff rescuing stranded people from flooded homes using ropes and rescue boats. No details were immediately available on how many people had been evacuated so far. Auckland's International Airport has closed and flights diverted, with footage emerging of extensive flooding inside the terminals. Major roads were also blocked by the floods, causing long traffic queues on highways, the country's Deputy Prime Minister, Carmel Sepioloni, said on Twitter that there was significant flooding in parts of the city, using the Maori name for the city of Tamaki Makorau. She also said she had visited an evacuation centre set up at St. Leonard's School in the suburb of Kelston. Auckland Emergency Management said earlier on Friday night that northern, northwestern and western oh parts of the city God, were being no affected way. by significant flooding, with conditions what expected to worsen. The agency advised residents in flood-prone areas to prepare to evacuate Elton John's concert in the city, which was expected to be attended by about 40,000 people, was cancelled at the last minute, after concertgoers had gathered in the stadium. Given the weather, tonight's show has been cancelled. Our operations team is working to redirect special event buses to help get people back home. As soon as possible, Auckland Transport said in a statement on Twitter. As torrential rain continues to pelt down, flooding across Auckland has resulted in evacuations across the west of the city. People have been forced to drive through rapidly rising flood waters as levels continue to rise. Others have seen their vehicles trapped and submerged by the raging torrents, the flooding has extended to businesses and houses, with multiple emergency service callouts to help people escape. Concertgoers at Sir Elton John's farewell concert at MT Smart Stadium were left furious after it was cancelled at the last minute, due to heavy rain and flooding, leaving wet and unhappy people to make their way home. You better go up to the stage because yeah, yeah, let's if you go. any short circuit happens, uh, people will die, you know?